Hi everyone, today I am going to discuss about introduction to structures. So topics I am uh, I'm explaining about the, what is structure, how to define a structure and how to create a structure. I will show you with an example and we will see the memory allocation of a structure. So we will start with what is structure. So I will uh, explain about a structure with a definition. So a structure is a collection of non-homogeneous or a heterogeneous elements. Using a structure, we can define a new data types called user-defined data types that can hold a multiple values of the different data types under a single name. The elements which are defined in a structure are called members of a structure. So we'll see how to define a structure. Defining a structure in C programming language, we use a struct keyword to create a structure. The elements which are created inside of a structure are called data members of structure. Always we remember structures is terminated with a semicolon. So we'll see the syntax how we can create a structure. So we can use a struct keyword and followed by a structure name. We can open a curly brace and we can define all your data members inside of this struct definition. So we can define with data type, data member 1 data type, data member 2, data type, data member 3 and so on, data member n. So in this way, we can define n number of data members in a structure. So now I will give you an example of a structure. So here we are creating a structure named employee with a keyword struct and it consists in uh, employee name as a data member of type character and it can hold maximum of 25 characters. And it can also having an employee ID of type integer and it's having gender is of type character. So by this I can hold whether a male or female by using a single character F or M. And we have another data member salary which is of type floating point. And we can end with the structure with a semicolon. So in the above example the structure name is an employee which is created with four data members name, employee name, employee ID, gender and salary of a different data types. So now we will see how to allocate a memory for a structure. So when the structures are used in a C programming language, the memory does not allocate on a definition of a structure. So the memory is allocated when we create the variable of a particular structure. The size of the memory is allocated is equal to the sum of the memory required by individual members of the structure. In above example, the variable EMP is allocated with 32 bytes of memory. You can observe this image. So it will show you how many bytes it will be reserved for our example with a structure named employee. So in that example, we have four data members. So employee name is of type uh, uh, character which can hold 25 bytes so it can reserve 25 bytes of memory for holding an employee name and followed by an employee ID which is of type integer so it requires 2 bytes of memory and followed by a gender which is of type character and it can hold a single character it needs 1 byte. And the last data member is of type salary floating point, so which can hold 4 bytes of information. So totally the memory allocated for this structure employee with a variable EMP is 32 bytes. So 25 bytes plus 2 bytes plus 1 byte plus 4 is equals to 32 bytes. So in this way it will reserve a memory for EMP variable. Please subscribe. Thank you.